Hi everybody, it's Janice Brown. How are you doing guys? Huh? How's your weekend so far? Good? Alright, i got to get myself situated here. What I'm going to be doing today is another waterfall pour, which by the way, I absolutely love doing. However, the last two times I tried it, I failed. So, look at this light coming in. I love my window, but it drives me crazy when I have to do this stuff. Anyway, the colors I'm going to be using is I'm going to first put Brilliant Blue down first in my cup. Then I'm going to put White, then Payne's Gray, and White again. And then I'm going to put Dark Green, Light Green, uh, blue green, actually it's phalo green, <laughs> and uh, Naples yellow, and then I might end with cobalt blue, but I'm not positive. Canvas I'm using, I have to see what, what it was, because I, I'm doing over it. Taking some of my garbage that I've had, I think it's 11 by 14, but I'm not sure. There's my 11, yeah. This was something I was just trying to do, you know, just playing around this here. I hate it. It's a long time ago I did it. So what I'm going to do first is clean my canvas because I don't know how long it's been sitting there because it was in the beginning and I figured, oh, I could make a flower. It reminded me of the old psychedelic days, you know. Let me take my watch off because, you know, you know me, I wreck it. Okay. I have three drawing behind me. One is a nebula, and then two that are in red and white and blue. I mean, one's like red and white, and the other one's blue and red. Okay. So, um, I use my little cheapy disinfectant wipes I got at the dollar store to clean it. They come out, that comes out great. And what I do, I clean all my canvases with this because I don't want oils. If there's any oils at all on here, it'll be gone. And it also helps, I think, with creating sills because all my paints today do not have any silicone at all. At least I don't think so. I've tried to use them all fresh today. I regrouped and did them all. And... Uh, so hopefully there's no, because I, I don't want cells. I may get some with the Brilliant Blue because that's just the way it does. It, it ends up giving me beautiful cells. All right. Nice and clean now. The back, this is before I started taping it, and I'm so glad because taping it gets so slippery, and I just don't like it. I thought it was a good idea, but I don't like it. So now this is the directions I wrote down when I did my waterfall pour. But what I want to do is do a little, well, of course, I'm going to be doing different colors. So I don't know if it's going to work. We'll soon find out. One thing I think I did, too, is I didn't let the base coat sit a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is, by the way, Artist Loft White mixed with Floetrol. Nothing else is in it. Okay. So let me move my paints over to this side. I did want to show you, well, maybe I didn't show you. Uh, white, brilliant blue. Payne's gray is already mixed. All this is, is already mixed. Hooker's green. This is all Liquitex Basics. Light green. This one, it just fell. I got a little little dry green here. Put that over there. This is phalo green. Naples yellow. And cobalt blue, if I choose to even add that. We'll see. Okay. So let me put you down where the camera is, where my painting is going to be. I guess I'll do it this way since you guys are that way. Okay. Let me put this way towards me. I'm trying to get used to doing my camera up on top. I don't like it. 
because it's you know, blind as a bat. I hope I'm recording. You don't know how many times. Oh, is that re not recording? It is, okay. You know how many times I've wanted, I started recording and found out it didn't record at all. So I get panicked now because I do want it to record. My husband made me new bars, which are very easy to clean, so I'm loving that part. All right, let me move. You know, I have a big table, but I got a lot of junk on the other side. It's crazy. One of these days, it's going to be really clean, and I'm not going to do it in here anymore. I have to paint this place. Um, let me go like that. All right. And there goes my... Let me go like this. All right, now you see it. When I do the waterfall pour, I'm going to be using an item that I got when I got the mat, which is underneath my... Um, lowly Fifi, lowly Fifi, L O L I V E F E. I do not. I'm not getting paid by them, but I just uh, I, I just want to do other pours, and if it doesn't dry real quick, you know. But you can let it dry. Like I've got some drying now, which I can lift up later on. Okay. All right. First thing first, the base coat. And it's just plain old white. And it's, I have also done my paint one, one. One to one. One paint to one part Floetrol. And the reason why I do that is it's a really good mix. Now I'm going to use my spatula. 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 All right, I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't know how well it's going to cover but we'll hope for the best because I really hate this painting with a passion okay I gotta get on my sides which I'm gonna do a little bit right now and get my paint all over these may not cover that well but this can be framed it's 11 by 14 I don't have to cook the, do the sides because it is a little it's not a um, gallery wrapped canvas which is usually what I use do new use but I'm figuring, well today I'm not going to do that I'm just going to try and do um, this this over and see how it comes out it comes out great I have plenty of can uh, plenty of frames to frame anything but sometimes people want to do their own framing so it would be the on the back would be um, brown paper, sealing it in the back, and a hook. Either a hook or a, uh, what do you call it? A wire hook. All right, let me get some more overlap in there. And some more over here. Got to maneuver my paint. This is a great um, spatula. It's really for omelets, but I don't cook omelets. Oh, when I do make an omelet, I don't use one of these. I just wing it. Sometimes when I first started doing um, omelets, let's say they ended up more like scrambled eggs, but God bless my husband. My brother lives with us and my, my husband, and they will eat anything I cook, so I really don't have to do real, I really like an omelet looking like an omelet, so which which is kind of cool. They eat anything I put in front of them, which is excellent because a lot of people, a lot of men, will be really pissed off because I want an omelet. Uh, my husband's not like that. That's why we're going on 39 years married in November next month. God, no mix. Next month already. Jeez. Already Halloween time. Is that crazy? Where's the time gone? I'm just asking. Where has the time gone? I just don't know. I mean, this is, doesn't it seem like, I mean, it was just like Thanksgiving and, and Christmas? Come on, this is crazy. Where does the time go? I guess when we're having fun, it goes. All right, now, I'm going to turn this around this way to see this side. And, of course, now that i got paint on me, I'll just use my hand. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna let this set. That's another thing I figured out. I didn't let it set a while before I did the um, the waterfall pour. So this way I'm gonna let it set a little bit. I'm gonna take my gloves off and wash this up. And hopefully, so you can fast forward this segment. It's gonna take like maybe two minutes. Um, if you don't, if you don't fast forward, that's great. Let me just hands. as if I've never even used it, which is one reason why I absolutely am in love with this spatula. And uh, one of my subscribers surprised me with it. I could not believe it. I didn't ask for it, but I'm glad, glad they did. So, see? Brand new all again. It's great. Okay. Now, in order to do this, I have to slant the canvas in order for it to be a waterfall painting. So, oh, I got everything dropping over here. Tony, I gotta move this stuff out of here. I have so much paint, it's ridiculous. Okay. Now, I have a little doohickey that I'm using. It's not covering over there. Let me grab some paint and move it over here. Not that I have to have it 100% on the sides because believe me, I'm gonna be dropping a lot of paint on the sides. But I just like to have the cover so it can slide out, you know? All right, now for me to do the waterfall, I'm gonna be doing it this direction and let me see where you're at I'll move my tr tray my bar out of the way move it up there this should be good enough right here okay I'm taking my gloves off now because I don't feel like washing them again and considering I have a ton of them over here I buy them at Walgreens. They're great. They fit me. I have little hands. Okay, now, a waterfall. Yeah, I, I'm hoping this works because I thickened up all my paint. So I'm hoping it works. All right, let me get a bigger cup. I think I have them over here. Oop, I got them on the floor. I have a ton of cups, too. takes one cup and this is a I don't know how many ounces this is don't have a clue but it's a nice size cup okay so now the first thing I'm putting down is my brilliant blue uh, let me get my gloves back on because I just want everything and I want you to be able to see this so I'm gonna shove let me see where I can put. You can see that, right? Okay. It's hard trying to get used to an iPhone. I used to use my iPad Air, but it would have to be on the side. And I didn't like the, that angle for people to see. So, where's the cup? All right, there. So I figured, well, let me just do it on top. We're using my iPhone. I got this stand to hold it on, so we shall see. All right, the first three layers, it's simply layered. All right, that's all you do for that, okay? 
And now I'm done with this. And I've got to get some more brilliant blue. I have no more. And it's one of my favorite colors. That's just a big container I just want to stick over there. Okay. Can you still see? It's kind of sunny in here. Okay, now I'm going to do white. And I'm going to try and pour it off, but just pouring it on here. Should be thick enough to layer. Okay. Now, Payne's Gray. The reason for this madness is because the Payne's Gray comes out really pretty. And it gets these little sparkly cells, which are fabulous. Okay. And then I'm still going to add a little bit more white. Oops, on top. Okay. Now, wipe that off. I got these dollar store paper towels. Now I know why they're cheap. Because you go to rip one out and they all like shred. All right, next I'm going to be putting in my, uh, let me see, I gotta get to my recipe here. Try to write down what I do so I can do it again, you know? All right, then I'm going to do the light green. Yeah, light green. And actually, this should be poured on the side. That's what I meant to tell you. These now get poured on the side. Okay. And now more white. I forgot. It goes after this. And I have to pour it like this. I came up with this by myself with the recipe on how to layer it. So let's hope it still works. And then I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'll put the blue green, the phthalo green. And pour it right against the cup. I love this color, by the way. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And then I'm going to do some, maybe, let me see, let me think here. I don't want to use any more paints gray. I'm going to use a little bit of Naples yellow, which will lighten that up, by the way. And it'll also lighten up my dark green. Because yellow, and well, yellow and blue make green. I'm using blue green, so that should be something. And then, you know, I think I have enough paint, but gotta have my dark green. Okay. And I am going to do a little bit of the cobalt blue to give a little contrast here with the yellow, with those are, okay, that's all I'm doing. All right, move my paint out and make sure there's no bubbles. Just got paint on, oh, I got, got paint on. How'd I just get white all over there? I must have touched that. Oh well. It'll soon be gone anyway. All right, now, move my green, my white, and my Naples. And now I'm gonna do the jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That's what it is, it's a jiggle waterfall. And here we go. I just got the mat on the floor. Um, I'm gonna start here, just a little bit on the edge. Mm. And nothing's happening yet. Okay, here we go. Mm, this is nice. So far, 
So far I'm getting the colors and the design the way I want it to. Oh. And it should look like water in between. Come on, keep falling. Probably have to go a little bit this way. Get the rest of my cup in here. Okay. Alrighty, now I'm gonna let this sit a little bit. And I'm gonna put my other bar back here so it doesn't all slide off. Okay. I'm gonna let it sit because I don't wanna really stretch too much. I will a little bit, but not that much. And push a little bit over here. And a little bit over here. Then a little bit over here. A little bit this way. I don't want to wreck my little fingerlings, so I'm going to really hold off here a little bit. Let it sit. Actually, I can go this way. Kind of losing my fingerlings on that side. Hmm. What to do? What to do? <gasps> Boopie doopy do. Well, let me go back this way. Get that little corner. Then this way. And then this way. And then this way, see how the blue is looking like water now? And the blue, by the way, has its own little fingerlings going in there. That's really cool. Okay. A lot of paint here, guys, so I really just got to toss it off a little bit. All right. Go back here. Come on, roll off. Then I'm going to go back here and roll that side. Don't want to get the white off, though. Okay, then I'm going to go this way. And then this way, and I think I'll be done in a second here, guys. It's looking great. Uh, can we go back this way? Get some more in that corner. Wow, this looks gorgeous. Come on, corner, get over there. I'm gonna go around that corner again now, too. Ooh, it's look slippery. All right, and then back this way. Let me get this centered. Okay. Now, let me go over here and help this guy here. And pick up some here. Oh, this is gorgeous. It really is beautiful. Now, let me check around the other side to make sure that's covered. I'm sure you guys can tell me, but you're not live. Would be nice to be live, but I haven't decided to do a live show yet. But maybe eventually, when I really know 100% what I'm doing. This is really beautiful. I am so excited. So, off come the gloves. And I'm going to fire away. Then I'll take you down. And uh, let's just see. Uh, cells in here, but I do want some in the middle. Just a little bit. That's all I'm doing. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, I keep saying beautiful because uh, when I lived in New Jersey, we used to say beautiful. It's so beautiful. Alright guys, it's set. It's done. So, hey, I'm gonna back. stop. You didn't see me. All right, this is what's going to be drying now and get finished. That light is the light from, from this 
window, humongous window I have here. Yeah, go down a little bit lower. Oh, I just got green paint on my hand. Look how beautiful. Look at each little cell. Oh, this is amazing. My little cells here kind of got finagled. I don't know. Really weird. I don't know what happened to the little cells over there, the little fingerlings. But the ones over here and the blue and white ones all remain intact. Look at the little white on the edges. Tell me that's not gorgeous. This is beautiful. Oh, I was almost giving up hope doing waterfalls because I ended up... Oh, look, this is so cool. It looks just like a waterfall of water. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I know you all must be thrilled that you witnessed this main event. This is beautiful. And see, now wasn't this prettier than the original canvas? Yeah. Let me see if I can get to different angles. Maybe not so much glare. Let me see if I turn off the light, what happens? Yeah, a little bit better. You see a little bit better, I think. But look at, oh, this guy little flowers here. Neat. Our little stones. It definitely looks like a waterfall. Yep. Definitely. Let me go on this side. Wow. It's amazing. Definitely a waterfall. Why it starts off in that corner, I'll never know, but it looks cool. That is beautiful. Well, tell me what you think. Um, if you like it, please like it and please comment. Tell me what you think. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already, and please, um, subscribe and please watch all my other videos, and then, um, let me know what you think. You can remember I'm Janice, J-E-N-I-S-E 410, and you can find it on my Etsy shop, shop, eventually it'll be up. I have to wait for all my things to dry before I post them. And it's Janice410. And also my website was just poor like me. P-O-U-R-L-I-K-E-M-E dot -E -E com. So look, I'm in love. This is, it's gorgeous. Looks just like a waterfall. It's amazing. Look at the white on the tips. I love that. This is amazing. I am in love with this painting. Yes, I am. I can't wait for it dry to see how it looks. So, all right, guys. Well, listen, have a great rest of the Sunday. And uh, I will talk at you when I do another. Bye. Let's see the paint. Told you. <laughs>